If you could make one thing illegal just because it annoys you, what would it be? Smoking. Because you literally can't sit outside at any cafe anymore without having clouds of smoke in your face. Hard to just not smoke while you're eating at a public place. I know you're probably addicted or something, but come on. You're gonna survive 20-40 minutes without a nicotine stick between your lips. I genuinely don't care what you do when you are alone. Smoke as many cigs as you want. But can you at least cut it out when you are in a public place where people gather? No one wants to smell your stinking fumes. Cigarettes and vapes. Cigarettes create a shit ton of litter, and people assume throwing the butts on the ground or at her. Window is acceptable. It isn't. It's a fucking disgrace, and it pisses me off so much it makes me shake dot dot. Everything about vape culture I hate. Getting kids back onto smoking making it bubblegum flavored. And people think it's socially acceptable to blow it in everyone's face and leave disposable ones. All over the place. Everything about them I hate, ban them all. They are 100 selfish and hugely contribute to littering and people acting shit. I wouldn't mind a law where you could only use gas-powered leaf blowers once a month. I hear them at least two days a week around my neighborhood, and I call in complaints when they come on other days. The condo next to my bedroom has their gardeners spending up to an hour every Tuesday morning, blowing leaves around. All year. Leaves or no leaves. I used to not really care until I saw them literally destroying the flowers and dirt with their machines and waking me up on my one day off per week at 8 in the morning. Constantly switching lanes trying to get to your destination 15 seconds faster. Like I get it. Slow drivers piss me off too. But damn it infuriates me. To accept to pass rule. I'm talking just basic city roads where the speed limit is like 35 and these people are mad that. Everyone's doing 45. So they're violently bobbing and weaving so they can do 50. I'll block them every chance I get and go as slow as I can without giving them an opening to pass me. Turning right on red. Because nobody actually follows it anyway. You're supposed to stop at least long enough to look for traffic. Everyone blows straight through red lights at full speed into oncoming traffic because I'm turning. I don't need to stop. And if you're waiting at a red light and the guy behind you wants to turn, they start laying on the horn the instant they pull up to your bumper. Never mind there's a line of traffic coming they can't see. I'm turning. Why should I have to stop? Any car over standard horsepower 180,200 should require a special license that requires to three day in person courses and a driving test with an instructor present in the car. I'm so tired of these 18 year old kids buying a Hellcat, GT500, Z28, and then not having the proper training to handle the car. Anyone can go fast in a straight line. Also, if I have to take a today course with CHP to be able to operate a street bike, then nobody should be allowed to just hop an A&Y car without training. Ads, especially radio ones, are not allowed to make siren sounds or car crash sounds, or honking sounds. There's a local body shop that runs commercials all the time of cars crashing together. No one needs to hear that shit when driving. Extra OB. Parking lots with diagonal parking slots. Make them pull through. It's far safer. Extra OB. Stores that don't have automatic doors. Especially places that do shipping or sell large items. Playing bass within a mile of residential areas. This of course includes people who play in their homes and cars. Nose ordinance laws generally don't do anything when the inbred playing bass only does so during permitted hours. Who cares that an individual works nights and sleeps during the day? Who cares that the inbred plays bass from 1.08 to 9p every single day? Police sure don't. Property community managers sure don't. Anyone contacting me by mail? Phone, LinkedIn message, email, telegraph, etc. Other than an actual person wanting to actually speak with me. 90 of my mail goes in the trash and without filters email would be unusable. As for telegraph, if the FCC allows automated marketing via CW I'm becoming a terrorist. It's the final bit of honest simple enjoyment I have in life that hasn't been infiltrated by corporate fuckery. Smoking in public. I get it's an addiction and it must be extremely challenging to deal with. And then of course, there are some who do it willingly. 
but it's fucking disgusting. There are good people who smoke, but I've met so many inconsiderate ones. Who will smoke in places where there are children? etc. Please don't make us deal with this. You're already being detrimental enough to yourself. I'm pretty easygoing and flexible, except when it comes to money. Has a former cashier. My drawer was always neat and organized. If I opened the till and it was a mess, I wouldn't open my line until I fixed it. My biggest pet peeve is that all my bills had to be facing the same way. It just bugs me if they're not. If your money isn't neat and organized, what are you even doing with your life? Drinking alcohol while pregnant. A alcohol harms the unborn baby. So aren't you kind of deliberately harming your baby? It's a scientific fact that there is no safe amount of alcohol BTW. In case someone says a little bit cow hurt. Not trying to shame alcoholics BTW. That is a legitimate health condition. Drinking for fun however is not. Walking dogs without leashes in non-leash zones and consequences would be an immediate fine of $250 taken out of their bank account immediately upon being told it's illegal. It's actually already illegal in most cities here, but people still do it. The money fine would be glorious to see people pay the price immediately, because I'm pretty sure they would stop doing it. I honestly don't know why junk mail is still legal all that paper and plastic wasted. Plus the envelopes have gotten really clever. There's one that looks exactly like a stimulus check and a few that look like they are from the IRS. I throw away at least 10 pieces of mail every week. I don't even understand how it's sustainable for companies to do this. Verbal communication being the default communication method. Non-verbal communication such as gesture and expression reading should be the default and move on to. Verbal communication only when there's confusion. The incessant need to speak first about something that can be easily observed is so annoying and also socially and mentally exhausting. I wish it was illegal to cancel a good show just because it wasn't making record-breaking profits. I'm looking at you Netflix, The Age of Resistance was art. And all are just lie. Should we make another epic season with these scary Muppets? Nah. Let's make a prank show with that weird kid from Stranger Things. Yeah. Good call Netflix. Loud exhaust systems. With today's technology no exhaust system should be loud enough to hear it in a car next to you. With the windows closed or from inside closed buildings. Also it would be nice if the cops actually ticketed people for driving around with the base jacked. Up so high that it rattles the windows of other cars around it. Using aerosols in public spaces during business hours. The amount of times my asthma has been triggered by fucking Glen 20 in a public restroom. Or body spray in the gym change rooms. Like they're just not necessary. And in the case of bathroom disinfectant, use that shit after customers are out of the room. Playing music so loud the whole neighborhood can hear it. I'd love to laze about the garden and not listen to a cacophony of Spanish rap on one side and German Schlager on the other. When I can understand the lyrics from inside the house with doors and windows closed it's definitely too loud. Fake news and I'd make it hella friggin illegal. There are too many individuals populating this planet with such a wide variance in their perception. Some people can't tell lies from fact and it does nothing but weaken us as a species. It creates tension and erodes from within. I hate it. Using your mobile device throughout a movie theatrical event. I don't care if it's on silent and or that you're not on calls. The light that it emanates in a dark place is very distracting for those around you who have paid good money to see whatever it is you're supposed to be watching. Social media ratings and reviews on restaurants. Too many people will literally miss out on great food because a no talent ass clown didn't like the food. There's a pizza place that gives you 10 off if you leave a one star review that says screw yell. I forget where it is but it's epic. Parking in a residential street after 10pm before 7am blasting music. Especially where I live. People who walk by having a quiet conversation don't realise how amplified it is and I can hear it. All from my app. The car's Ubers usually are like being at a concert against my will. I'm in public. I can excuse holding hands or a brief side hug. But I'm trying not to cringe when it's full blown. Huggy in the grocery line or to throw up when people are smooching it up in a restaurant. Too much is just too much. 
Owning a dog that's too much for you. A 120 pounds woman shouldn't be allowed to own a 150 pounds mastiff or pit bull without the guarantee of proper training and an electric collar on at all times when in public. Shit is a hazard for everyone including the dog. F throat dabbing or vaping in my earbuds gets ALS. Their eyes spooned out. Their eardrums popped. Tongue cut off. Fingernails stabbed with small needles and teeth flicked out with a rusty fork. Chit or some other finger food in the commercial. I'm assuming they don't use smaller people people with smaller than normal hands. But then the actual item is 75 to 50% of the size you expect. Chuggers creating cordons in public places to corral people like lambs to their slaughter. Since the advent of Chuggers, my spirit of charity has taken a nosedive. They deserve to have IEDs stuffed where the sun doesn't shine and BOM. Whissing in public or at work. I don't care to listen to your shitty, high-pitched, squealy mouth nose. You're either manifesting your nervous habit fulfilling your need to fill the air or you're an exhibitionist. Just STF you and enjoy the silence. Driving right up on someone else tailgating. Not only is it annoying, it's dangerous. Imagine someone pulls out in front of the car and they suddenly have to stop. Now the car riding their ass is gonna rear end them full force. Requiring visas a green card process for foreigners married to our citizens. Just let people in automatically who are immediate relatives to our citizens. If someone's a serious security threat, there should be the only exception. Early access games over $20. No, I am not broke. I just don't understand the pricing when it is an unfinished game. And you want to charge release pricing for it. And nitrogen monoxide. It is not what everyone else is doing, just a few.